My dear friend, and I'm going to say this bluntly, I know that there are Calvinists here, and I know that there are Arminians here, and I know that there are all sorts of strange animals in between. <laughs> but I want you to know this. Although I am leaning more toward, I, I guess I call myself a five-point Spurgeonist, I want you to know this. Calvinism is not the issue. No, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble when this goes on the internet. <laughs> Calvinism is not the issue. I'll tell you what the issue is. Regeneration. And that is why I can have fellowship with Wesley and Ravenhill and Tozer and all the rest. Because regardless of where they stood on the other issue, they believed that salvation could not be manipulated by the preacher. That it was a magnificent work of the power of Almighty God. And with them, therefore, I stand. That it was a work of God. There is a greater manifestation of the power of God in the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit than in the creation of the world, of the universe, because He created the world ex nihilo, out of nothing, but He recreates a man out of a corrupt mass. Look at the Wesleys. Look what they had to face for a moment. And, my dear Whitfield, what was it? Everybody believed they were Christian. Thoroughly Christian. Why? Well, they were baptized as infants. Brought into the covenant. They were confirmed. They lived like devils. Regeneration was traded for a type of creedalism that was given authority by the religious leaders of the day. And then here comes the Wesleys. No, it is not right with your soul. You are not born again. There is no evidence of spiritual life. Examine yourself. Test yourself if you are in the faith. Make your calling and election sure. Ye must be born again here in America because of the last several years, several decades of evangelism. The idea of born again is totally lost. It only means that at one time in a crusade, you made a decision and you think you were sincere. But there's no evidence of a supernatural recreating work of the Holy Spirit in your life. If any man, not if some men, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 